Hey YouTube, this is CP here. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update and show you my ugly, ugly chicks. Uh, I posted a video a couple weeks ago about my Murray McMurray review and those chicks are doing awesome. I, I ordered 25 and I actually lost six or seven of them in the first two days and all I did was have to call them up and let them know, hey, I had so many chicks die and they actually refunded me for the dead chicks because they had died of cold shock because it was cold when they shipped so I knew some of them weren't going to make it. Hopefully it wasn't all of my roosters but we will see when they get a little bit older. But I actually got these guys at Tractor Supply. I got them a couple weeks apart so they're all different sizes and I was kind of worried because when I first got the Cornish, the, the big fat ugly ones are Cornish rocks. I was worried because about a week after I got them I had seen that they were losing their feathers and they were bald. They, they started looking like that. So I thought maybe my black athelorps were were picking their feathers out. So I separated them and put them in another container and they're still losing their feathers. So I did some research and apparently it's just because these birds get so big so fast that they outgrow their feathers. So it's going to be a little while before these guys can actually go outside because it's still a little chilly out. And I don't want to send them out without all of their feathers. When I got them, they were this size two weeks ago. These are my Americanas that I just got a couple days ago. They're only a few days old. But the big, big Cornish rocks, they're almost four weeks old now. So they, they are huge. So they definitely, they grow fast. They're great meat birds. And that's what we got them for, was the for meat production. But I ended up getting the Americanas just because they were super cute and I couldn't resist them. I know, that's just what I need. 30 chickens, yeah, including the 10 I already have out in the big coop. But I'm going to take you outside and show you guys the black athelorps and see how they are settling in nicely. Last night was their first night actually out in the coop by themselves. So we'll go out there and see how they are doing. Okay, so I'm actually out in our old goat pen. I had, I just modified the the old house that they were staying in to hold the chicks so they stay inside. I haven't let them outside yet. I want them to get used to being in here first. But there they are. It's kind of hard to see them. We've got the brooder light going in here so they're nice and toasty. And the reason why, they're, they'll be five weeks old tomorrow. So the reason why I, I actually I have them out here now is because what everything I had put them in, with the exception of the dog kennel, which was too small for them all, they kept getting out. They would they would just fly right out of it. We put screens over it, and they were still somehow my, managing to get out. So it was time for them to come out here. They were all cute and fluffy, but now, as Mr. CP calls it, they look like little vultures. But they're still cute to me. But they they seem to be doing just fine out here. So. Probably later next week I will start opening up the coop door during the day so they can start venturing outside. But for right now I'm keeping them in the coop just so they can get used to it and that's where they know where they're at. And then I'll let them out during the day and then at night scoop them all up and put them back in here. But that is that is where our chickens are as far as our chickens go. And we've got our goats still over there. They're, they want their treats. Every time I come outside they know it's time for treats. Let me see if I can get this door closed now. Let's give Thelma and Louise some treats. See how they're doing. Hey, Ammo. Ammo wants some treats too. He's jealous of the goats. Hey, ladies. No treat? There you go. Mm. But that's what we've got for you today, so be sure to subscribe and follow us on Facebook, and happy prepping! Say bye Thelma, bye Louise, bye Ammo.